Oh, you gotta love the exhaust though. Very decent. Very decent. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Juan coming at y'all with another video. Um, today we are here to discuss buying the world's cheapest B58 340i. Story to y'all. Let me tell you a little bit about her. Uh, wasn't really in the market for a 340. Um, mainly just you know like the engine, like what everybody was talking about. But of course, I wasn't gonna pay tw high 20s, low 30s for that. You know, could get an M5 for that. Um, but I ran across one, one that I'm looking at right now that really caught my eye. And what I liked about it was the fact that the price, the price, what I really liked about it was the price. A couple of things, you know, that I didn't like about it, but mainly it was positive. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce y'all to my Infinity M35. Just kidding. My 2016 BMW 340i equipped with the B58. X drive and my favorite part of all the six speed check it out y'all interior looks great love the black leather sports seats so now you might ask how did you get this so cheap but before I tell you the price let me tell you why I got it so cheap so a couple things that are not on the car, obviously, not the uh, M package. It's got the stock bumpers, stock wheels. Although there are 18, maybe a small upgrade. Yeah, stock front bumper, which does not look very good, y'all. So not that everything that shines is gold, and therefore, that's the reason why I was able to get this bad boy for the price that I did. So without further ado, let's pop the hood. Yeah, because uh, this might be a 320 badged. Honestly, I had no idea what the B58 looked like uh, when I picked this bad boy up. I had to call my boy and ask him, be like, hey, man, you got one of these, right? What am I looking at? Oh, and then I didn't even know how to open the hood. You got to pop it twice. Lord, times are changing, right? There you go. Pop it twice. Releases the whole hood. Pop it once, teases you. Here it is, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. B58. B58. Now this cover comes off pretty easy. Hmm, you know, I'm a big N54 guy. I know everything about him, but damn. I don't even really know what I'm looking at. How does the feel work on these bad boys? Where are the injectors? Hmm, interesting, but nonetheless, we're here to learn. We're here to learn. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, so plans for this are obviously big turbo. Um, big turbo. And obviously, I'm going to have to upgrade the freaking clutch on this bad boy. So, all right now, y'all, for the price. Let me tell y'all, I got this bad boy for $13,000. Clean title, one owner. Now, you might wonder, how? If they're all going for high 20s, low 30s, and it's a six-speed X-Drive, clean title, one owner? Whew, here's your answer. The car has 178,000 miles. Luckily, highway. I believe the guy, uh, and actually it was a trade into the dealership. So, car was a highway mile car. So it runs great. Turbo spool fine. No check engine lights. 
Um, it's funny, I can hear a little wave here rattle on these. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they got rid of that two engines ago, y'all. But you know what? Leave it up to BMW to. Uh, so we got backup camera, y'all. Well, actually, I think we just hit, yeah, we just hit 179,000 on this bad boy in four years. It's an average of 40,000 miles a year, y'all. How you do that? I don't know, but you got heads up display. Suspension is great, phenomenal for these many miles. I wonder if really any work has been done to it. Brakes are great. Clutch feels awesome. Transmission is smooth. Oh, you know, it's got all the driving modes. Obviously, no tune or anything yet. Don't really want to tune it and then custom tune it, you know. It pulls great, though. It pulls awesome. So, yes, this is the world's. Believe me when I tell you, I looked everywhere. The world's cheapest 340i. Maybe the world's highest mileage 340i. <laughs> quick question would you have done it what would you have done different would you have looked for like a 335 less miles um i don't think i told y'all but i ordered the m front bumper i have the m sport wheels i have a lowering kit and the m rear bumper so i want to make it as kind of m sport it's possible you know not really go too crazy because i could have really got the uh m3 or m4 replica from bumper but i think for me having a nice little daily that looks decent will be more than enough so something to think about what would you have done drop the comments in the box drop the comments below appreciate y'all